Foot, Antonio, next to Rickson Crazy, and on the other side, Archie Moore. These are some talented guys. So I don't know if he's still complaining. Yeah. <laughs> I get a, a key from like a garage and uh, I built a gym in there. It's also with a yellow ceiling, just like this, and with black, because these are my colors. And I think, you know, it doesn't have to be that dark as the, the kickboxing uh, gyms they are. So, uh, you know, I paint the, uh, the ceiling yellow because that's the color of the sun, and when the sun is shining, everybody's happy. So you don't come in like you're not happy. You know, it takes away the edge, I think. And it burned down in 2009, in the 26th or 28th November. And it was just when I could land, when I landed in Japan for the Grand Prix Finals. And uh, then the, the gym burned down, it was terrible. Uh, but in 2010, I started here in March. Now I got this gym. Not very the other gym was also about 1,000 square meters or something at the end. Uh, it's also good. You know, I also start from 215 square meters. You know, build a little bit here, a little bit there, just build it up, put it some weight, put it some extra things. We've got some beautiful places in Croatia. But look at this view when you're done with training. So my gym is interesting, my first uh, logo is this uh, Yuri Mess, that's my first fighter and we had some kind of thing, you know, when we start training and doing and winning and winning and winning and then everybody says, was talking to me about contracts, but I don't do contracts and then Yuri tattooed uh, the M of, Ma of Mike on his stomach and the P of Peter, his brother and S of Susanne's sister on his stomach and he says, there is your contract. And then I need to make the logo. And I just put him, his face, in the logo. I said, this is my part of the contract to you. So, wherever we go, we always be somewhere together. You can also buy the things online, of course. We got an online shop. But you can also buy the things at uh, Robert Plassi, but He's got the gloves and his sink cards, but then personalized to Antonio Plasi, but with some with the Croatian flag, some with just the logo, things like that, you know. And we like to do uh, nice things. These are my two oldest daughters. It's me. It's my wife. My son who is downstairs, but then he's younger. My daughter, she's also downstairs. So it's a little bit old now, and there's my mother. Okay, listen, you start with uh, Bruce Lee, you know, that's the, mm -hmm. the the founder of Mozart when I grew up, you know, everybody likes Bruce Lee. Simple, then you got the Godfathers, you know, like Marlon Brando, Scarface. Mm -hmm. And there is the Godfather of New York, uh, Christopher Walken. Uh, and then there is Fing Rams, he's the Godfather in uh, Pulp Fiction. There are two guys from Pulp Fiction. There you got the boxer Butch, mm -hmm. and Butch is also from Die Hard. Next to that you got uh, Rocky, Rocky uh, one, and then and Rocky two. It's the same guy, and then Rocky three. It's Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. Rocky four, Dolph Lundgren. Then you got there uh, Sean Paul Van Damme. Next to him Steve Zico. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Fringo, The Hulk, Chuck Norris, and uh, English guy, what's his name? Jason Statham. Jason Statham, yes, sorry. Angelo Dundee, Chris Amato, Maradona is a trainer, Fritz Korbach is a Dutch soccer trainer, Mark Kruijf, and then uh, Adriaanse and Louis van Gaal at the end. These are the good soccer player, trainers. Well, when I put him on the wall, he starts crying for about 25 minutes before he can just say one word. Best friends, then here, the Fabulous Five of the gym. 
Foot, Antonio, next to Rickson Crazy, and on the other side, Archie Moore. These are some talented guys. So I don't know if he's still complaining. Yeah. <laughs> Second, and for those who those don't know, Archie Moore is the guy who held the most professional knockouts. More than 140 professional knockouts. So, it's an honor to be on his side. Antonio has a very special grunt, you know, the uh, Who has another special grunt from your gym? Well, everybody, everybody's screaming always. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a kickboxing thing, I think. You know, you need to breathe, so you need to inhale, exhale. But if you start to scream, you are inhaling and exhaling. You know, by making sure you're serious, you scream a little bit louder. <laughs> He spoke about it once, uh, about these uh, like German journeymen slash amateurs that kind of come here. They say they have a professional record, and then uh, you know uh, you don't want them to come home and say, "No, Mike's gym is not that hard." Like you know, like what do you do? You ever feel sorry for those guys <laughs> when they get beaten up? No, I feel sorry for myself. If they are here, everybody's playing with them. They go home, put on the internet. I was at my gym, you know, I beat uh, up Antonio, I beat up uh, Jamal, I beat up uh, Putty, I beat up Butter. Oh, that's, that's bad advertisement for me. So, you know, if you want to fight, you know, you come here, okay, just part, fight, then we don't play. And then, you know, simple. Stuff happens, huh? Yeah, sure. Well, if you if you don't want to get burned, you know, don't play with fire. There you go. When we first started in the ring, was in the other in the other room. This one guy coming from Germany, and he had some you know some nice words to talk. I talked to Melvin, and Melvin, he, you know, he was being nice to him all the time. And then uh, he's looking at the clock and I said, what is he doing? And in the last 20 seconds he starts to attacking Melvin. And then so I said, okay, next round. He said, no, 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 next round. No, that's it for today. So next day he's coming on. Hey man, good. And I looked up and on Facebook, he said, well, sparring with Manuf. Nearly knocked him out, you know. The coach has to come in between us, you know, because but it was not like that, he had to be in between them because they were in the round. So then he was uh, sparring with Lashenko. I was looking at Lashenko, but Sergei Lashenko, he doesn't take shit. I was looking at him, so I was, uh, you know, or him or you, because otherwise you have to go. And he just walked onto him, you know, in like 25 seconds. Palm. He just pulled his nose to the side and this guy said, hey, what are you doing? I just want to do play. No, you put that on, on, on Instagram and on Facebook or whatever you want. No, it is what it is. And I, I also think it's a trademark. Also for a guy like Antonio, you know, knocking people out in the ring and people coming here. Yes, well, I got only 25 bucks. I knock Antonio out almost, you know. No, it's not going to be that way. Never. <laughs> if somebody once 30 years ago told you you're gonna have a gym with all of these guys you're gonna train multiple uh, you know uh, champions in kickboxing and everything would you believe him and if somebody like gave you a contract you know with the devil where you need to sell your soul would you still uh, maybe uh, write it down or? Well, might, you know, look a little bit strange, you know, but I always believe in myself. And I always thought, you know, I could be somebody, 
at some point, you know, just I just need somebody who believed in me so I can show them how to be better. That's all I'm doing.